solid feeling truck. I usually drive the 4x4 diesel dually. And this thing feels really planted, partially because it's much lower to the ground, right? So it definitely corners and handles better and less prone to wind. And uh, towing, it absolutely tows like a dream. It's a one ton, 3,500 dual rear wheel, but it's two wheel drive. The four wheel drive seemed to float a little bit more because of the um, obvious you know, height difference and the complication of the four wheel drive in the front. So these, these long wheelbase one ton GMCs are, are notoriously good handling, good hauling trucks. In fact, on flat ground or downhill, I'd say it tows better and straighter than my F350 diesel dually. On uphills is where the diesel excels, obviously, but there's there's pros and cons to both. Certainly, the, the, the gas engine truck is a lot easier to maintain and work on. You don't have to be a diesel mechanic to change, you know, your, your spark plugs and wires and your basic fuel change and oil filter and uh, basic maintenance can be done, but at home on this thing, where on a diesel, it's not really the case. And as far as the longevity, these small block V8s have been around for, Jesus, since the 50s, 40s. Uh, they've, they've got the design worked out. They're pretty much bulletproof. Tons of performance accessories available for them. This one's relatively unstressed because it's in a work truck state of tune, which means it's not, doesn't have a huge lumpy cam or giant carburetor or anything. It's basically a setup for torquey road work for, as a work truck. So if you ever did have to replace a motor on it, you can buy a complete motor assembly for this truck from GMC from Chevrolet or GM for about five grand. We've had this truck for over 10 years now, but it's never been a primary transportation vehicle. It's been mainly when we first had the $7,000 custom paint job and body kit put on it. It was used mostly for shows and for hauling custom bikes on the back. So it never really got any winter duty or uh, daily use. So that's why it has such low miles. It's only 80, when I bought it, it had over 10 years ago from my good friend, Pete Lostrom purchased this Pete if the name rings a bell, Pete actually was our project manager who helped us restore the, the mill, the construction project manager. And uh, I've known Pete forever. He had this truck since it was brand new. Him and his brother bought this for their construction company. So I'm the second owner. And it's been in the family, so to speak, since it was new. It's never been totaled or smashed or, or rusted or anything like that. It's, it's always been well-maintained. And... Uh, since I've had it, it's been absolutely over maintained, if anything. So, interior is super nice on it. The dash is in good condition. Uh, all of the lights on the truck, we'll, we'll get outside and walk around it. All the lights on the truck are brand new on the exterior. Every light on it was replaced and upgraded with LED. Uh, it's got the smoked cab lights. It's a really sharp looking truck. When, when you're when you're driving it, you feel like you're in a sports car, pretty much. In the front of it, feels like a sports car, like like a, a Chevy Chevelle or something like that. It looks and feels and feels like you're driving a small block Chevy Chevelle and it looks badass from the front the, the front the custom look to the cowl induction hood and, and the whole chrome billet front looking front end it's just pretty badass the custom paint job so why am I selling it well we're actually purchasing a semi truck and trailer a Kenworth uh, T800 with a 53 foot trailer I, if you've been following the channel you know I just got my license and we have four diesel trucks already we've got the the diesel van and three diesel trucks pickup trucks so this truck has just been sitting and uh well the truck and trailer when you see it you'll see it's going to be a pretty big investment so we're selling this to raise funds for the new truck and really i want to see somebody enjoy this truck because it's just been sitting um some of the upgrades we've done to it the stereo when we built this truck we took this right down to the the entire cab was taken out, the seat, the carpeting. The only thing left in it was a dashboard and the uh, roof liner. And we had Willie Beard, that was his nickname, Willie Beard, do the stereo system. He worked in a stereo shop for three or four years and he was really into it. So we spent $1,700 on this Kenwood, Kenwood Bluetooth receiver. And behind the rear seat, you'll see there's a kicker uh, boom box with a 300 watt amp and four speakers. So it's, it's, uh, if you had it installed at a stereo shop, you know, we did the labor ourselves, so it was 1700 for parts plus labor. And uh, it kicks ass. The stereo absolutely rocks. The steering wheel's in real nice shape. The dash is in real nice shape. The windshield wipers work beautifully. The uh, uh, windshield uh, 
uh, washers work beautifully. The city horn works great. Uh, why are you? The um, Sorry. heat cranks. It's got excellent heat. And it's a small cab, so it warms up really nice. The seat's super comfortable. The seat's three in the front. Your girlfriend can sit right next to you if you'd like, or your dog, or whatever. Uh, one of the things I like about it is it has roll-down windows, which in any American vehicle, once they're 20 years old, trust me when I tell you, you don't want power windows because it's more shit that break. If you're too lazy to roll your windows down, well, you should probably buy a Prius. <laughs> it's a man's truck. Five-speed, standard, no slush box. The upholstery on the seat was done in the original material by Brian's Auto Upholstery. Uh, the foam underneath it was replaced, so it's nice and cushy. This is the original back uh, piece right here. You can see it matches perfectly, but the, the base is brand new. The carpeting, I had the carpeting out and put new carpeting in. There's a couple stains in it from a, a coffee or a ranch or something, I don't know, but we, we've used the truck since we put the carpet in, so there's a couple stains in it, but you can see the carpeting under, underneath the mats is brand new. Um, and it has the Weather WeatherTech floor mats. When the cab was gutted, we sanded the floor down. There wasn't a speck of rust on the floor anywhere. The, the floor pan is perfect on this thing. And I bought PO, I bought over $400 with a POR 15 base coat, clear coat. And we POR'd the entire inside of the cab and the tire underside of the cab. The whole nose of the truck was off of it. We took the, the, um, the only thing left on the truck when, when I restored it was the uh, engine and transmission the, in the cab. That was it. The bed was off the back. The, all the wheels are off, the whole front clip and the doors are off of it, and we painted everything. Base coat, clear coat, we sandblasted the frame, base coat, clear coated the, uh, um, our base coat, top coat, excuse me, the, 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 the um, inside of the cab. Then we put it all back together. These are brand new doors. Uh, I bought these doors, well, new when I did them. Uh, I'll have to check our seat, I think it was like six years ago. New doors, new, uh, not just door skins, the complete doors were new. New front fenders, new hood new grill we'll go over that all that when we're outside but back to the inside of the truck um, everything's in good condition it's got you can see it's got the uh, the lighter right here which which works uh, nobody's smoked in the truck it's got the AC out right there the um, cup holder right here is intact uh, glove box is nice keep my rags in there to keep it clean dash is in good condition um, like I said steering wheels in great shape I guess uh, I can show you the um, I can, you can see the lights work inside here I'd have to show you the uh, subwoofer, the, the third light works. So everything's in really good condition inside here, including a brand new, I think it was like $400, a Takancha brake controller for hauling our 28 foot and our 20 foot trailer. So this is set up to the bumper. Everything's been sorted out perfectly and works beautifully. So window, windshield's new. Uh, these are the original side windows and rear window, but we did put a brand new windshield in it. There was a chip in the original glass. So let's pull up here a little bit and um, we'll walk around the outside a bit. It's a good spot, as any, probably. Headliner's not perfect, it is the original. Just a yeah, couple it's the original headliner. Um, the original uh, um, sun visors are in good condition. They're like a, it has a, a mirror on this one right here. So, original rear view mirror in great condition. Grab the mic. Engine sounds great. So when I got the truck from Pete, um, we drove it around the way it was for a little while and decided I wanted to redo it. So we got out the LMC catalog. I'll show you, I've got over 60 pages of receipts, invoices, and project plans, uh, close to $20,000 in receipts. Um, the first thing we did is analyze what we're gonna do with the body. The, the front fenders had dings in it from being on the construction site. I wanted to do a cowl induction hood. The doors had dings and dents in them. So I said, you know what? Right out of the LMC catalog, I ordered brand new doors, brand new front fenders, brand new cowl induction hood, brand new custom. The whole front clip here is custom. The grill, the headlights, the fog lights. This was an option here. The uh, matching billet and the billet balance on, on the bottom here with the uh, matching grill. So that it looks like the grill is massive from the front. This is all straight out of the LMC catalog. It was $4,000 in parts that I ordered out of the LMC catalog. The front fender on this side is, is new and the door is not new. The doors that were on here had these big giant um, construction truck mirrors and I wanted it to look a lot more like a custom truck. So I replaced them with these chrome mirrors. 
I put the wet Weston stainless steel Nerf bars on here. The um, now it's not perfect. We, we've driven the truck for a while. There's a um, a small crack right here in the in the grill. Uh, one of the there's a little tiny scrape right here uh, that that would probably buff out. Um, I think there might be a nick somewhere in the paint job if I look closely. Uh, it's but um, it, overall condition, it's in beautiful, beautiful condition. There's a little bit of a uh, uh, pitting on the original door handle here. The, um, the SLT logo, that's new. Uh, again, the paint job was a two-tone black with a red and silver pinstripe, cowl induction hood, uh, new, new windshield wipers. I went with the, all, as I mentioned, every single light on the truck I bought brand new. These are smoked LED, smoked lenses on the top. All the lights in the, in the front are new. Um, the bed, we took the original bed that Pete had on it and uh, cut that, took it off and, and took the, the head, the, the headache, this is called the headache rack. We took this and then we completely replaced the entire bed. We built this. Will Lostrom and I built this and Chris Canning at, at our shop, this entire bed. This is completely custom. This is heavy duty diamond tread plate aluminum with heavy duty steel. It's, it's all new. Um, it's been it was professionally painted when we first put it on and I just repainted it. Actually, uh, Dean repainted it about three weeks ago because we've been putting bikes on and off of it for five years. So it was scratched up. So I wanted it to look real pretty for the next owner. So uh, speaking of bikes, there are four hard mounted Pingle wheel chocks here, which come out with one bolt each. If you want to take them off, they come out with one bolt, but they're bolted in. They won't fall out. There's four Pingle wheel chocks. You can put four full size bikes on here or seven dirt bikes. I've had seven dirt bikes on here uh, in several different configurations. These, all the hardware that I use is stainless steel hardware. This is um, E-Track that I had cut to size. As you can see, the E-Track is all, all, it's all hard mounted. I, I have put on these heavy duty um, tie down points. It has a brand new gas uh, filler spout. And of course, LED lights on the side, those are new also. Speaking of lights, look at the back of this. This was, a, this was quite a bit of work to cut out, to first to pick out the light package and all the lights work beautifully on the back here. I'll demonstrate that in a second. It looks kick ass at night, it's really bright. I want it to have like a Corvette look to the, the lights. That's why I put them like this. Um, but these had to be mount, cu cut out and mounted along with the license plate bracket is new, the tail light bracket's new, the, the hitch is new. And of course, as I mentioned in the cab, it's already got the Takancha brake controller with the uh, um, hookup right here. As you can see, that's in mint condition. Uh, you just, you know, basically, it's very hard to find a truck today that, that's as well sorted out, loved, and cared for as this has been. And it's not being sold because there's nothing wrong with it. It's being sold because we've got five trucks and we're getting a, a tractor trailer next. So uh, we're going to sell two or three of our trucks and upgrade to the, the semi. So, um, it's a kick-ass machine. The uh, the mud flaps are super heavy-duty, custom-made uh, mud flaps that we ordered. I ordered Eagle alloy rims for the truck, and I upgraded to the stainless steel hubcaps, so those will never rust or pit. The rims are in beautiful condition. Those are all new. The, the tires are brand new last year. I'll have to check the date code. I'm pretty sure it's 2021 um, or 2000. I put these on last year. They've got about, well, maybe 250 miles on them. This is my second set of Goodyear Wranglers that I bought for my dualies. I love these. These are 225, 75 R16s. You will not get stuck anywhere in the snow. This thing's like a, like a, you could plow in this truck if you wanted, even though it's two wheel drive, but it won't get stuck in the, in the snow or the mud. These are kick-ass tires. And on the front, I went with the Michelin Defender LTX mud and snow, top of the line tires, no cheap shit here. Top of the line Eagle Alloy rims with the stainless steel hubcaps. Um, just a beautiful truck. Let me pop the hood. I'll show you the motor. This, the, 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 the new windshield is a Pilkington solar tint windshield. Again, it, it is a new cowl induction hood. And, uh, you can see that, uh, a, uh, Rossi automotive painted the bottom side of the hood too. I did some upgrades under the hood here. Nothing crazy. One with a Chrome valve cover set with a chrome air cleaner cover, a chrome power steering pump cover. The uh, alternator was replaced, all the hoses, all of the, um, all the hoses and all of the belts are new. 
The battery is brand new last year. It's an AC Delco. I don't believe in buying. I've had shitty luck with Napa and aftermarket batteries, so I went right to the GM dealer and got the actual original AC Delco battery. The um, battery cables have been replaced. <clears throat> the oil's been changed way more times than it needs to be. Um, oil stays nice and clean in it. You can see the washer fluid tanks in excellent condition. The power, the, the, the um, uh, brake um, master cylinder's in excellent shape. The, the firewalls is, still looks really good. There's no rust issues underneath here. It looks, you know, good luck finding another 95 that's in this kind of shape that somebody, you know, I can only describe doing this much work to a truck like this as a labor of love because I could have um, um, could have just bought a new truck instead, I guess, but this was my friend Pete's truck, and uh, I knew, knew its origins, and I knew it was a rock-solid truck that didn't have any issues, so we put quite a bit of money into it. So um, the plug wires, plugs, the uh, distributor cap, all of that's been changed. Um, it's ready to go, new air filter. The brakes have been redone, the shocks, I put brand new Rancho shocks all the way around on it. They're the Rancho RS 5000 shocks. When I bought the truck at 56,000 miles, I think I did the, the shocks at like around 65, so it has 86,000 miles on it now. The, the shocks have maybe 20,000 miles on them. The tires have are new. Um, just a beautiful piece. You can see, if you look underneath here, the frame, when we had the, uh, when we had the, uh, the, the bed off of it, we took the opportunity and sandblasted at my farm. I used to have a tractor restoration company. We sandblasted the tire frame and then did the POR, <coughs> POR 15 base coat, top coat on the entire frame. The, the, the bed, the bottom size of the side of the bed was coated, the leaf springs, the rear axle, the um, drive shaft, everything. The, the floor of the truck, I don't know, can you crawl underneath here? And, or, or I could drive up on a curb or something. You can see that there's no um, there's no rust through underneath the floor of the truck, and and uh, I'm gonna have Kenny drop in right at this point the picture of the transmission. This is a new remanufactured transmission. Transmission. We spent five thousand dollars on a on a brand new remanufactured transmission, a new clutch pressure plate, throw out bearing, and uh, clutch master and slave cylinder in a new shifter inside the cab. So the entire, from the top of the shift knob to the drive shaft is new with less than 300 miles on it. It's all been replaced. I have receipts for all of it, $5,500. Uh, at the same time, we had bought the uh, truck to uh, uh, exhaust specialties in Manchester and had them take the header, the headers off of it, the factory headers, and mill those down and put new exhaust gaskets on it because they were leaking. And then I bought it to my friend Jeff, who does custom exhaust, and he put a full dual exhaust going out the back with it. the mufflers, it has mufflers on it. Let me show you the mufflers. They're kind of small and they're kind of loud. And if you wanted to, um, although it doesn't really, you don't really hear it when you're in the cab because it's so far back here, but it, if you, you can see the dual exhaust comes out the top right here. Custom dual exhaust, so you have nice, you have to crawl underneath there to, um, yeah, can you come under here? You see the Rancho shocks. You can see the the meatballs in perfect condition. The um, you see the mufflers right there. They're like little uh, custom made super turbo mufflers that that my friend Jeff put on. You can see the the, the stainless exhaust. I think it's stainless. I'm not positive, but it's yeah, custom it's stainless. stainless mandrel belt, stainless mandrel built exhaust. And if you look all the way up in the front, you can see this is true duels. This is not a two into one into two. It's true duels from the valve covers back. It was about $1,500 between, actually it was more than that, it was because uh, Exhaust Specialties charged me a bit to um, replace the, the, the gaskets on, on, the, on, the, on the header. So the whole exhaust between the new system and the new header uh, gaskets was, was, a, was somewhere around $1,500. You can see it's a beautiful condition under here, um, no rust through. It's uh, well preserved due to the POR 15 base coat, top coat. Headache rack is uh, good protection for the cab. And I might have left a few things out, but I think you get the idea here. Let me get a good shot of the interior, please. Check it out. The, uh, those are the uh, Husky floor liners, which are nice. The dash is in good condition. The door panels are in good condition. 
the seat's been uh, recovered, the bottom of it, the top's the original, no rips or tears. The safety belts are, seat belts are in good condition, no rips or tears. As far as the documentation goes, um, I've got pretty much everything on the truck. Like I said, there's over 60 pages of documentation. This is the catalog LMC truck. They made a lot of these. These were probably the most popular truck ever made for a, a decade, the, the, the Chevy GMC trucks. So you can find pretty much any part that you want to get for this truck. Everything is made for it. This is the from Rossi Brothers. Here's the bottom line, $7,047. That was for the um, lettering and uh, two color uh, uh, paint job, labor and materials for auto body and accessories and additional labor. The original quote was like 3,700 and it kept on creeping up and ended up being $7,000. We've seen that before. Uh, that, that included the chrome valve covers, the gasket set, <clears throat> the, the chrome mirrors, um, the Nerf bars and the Rancho shocks and the paint job. The, <clears throat> the paint job and installing the uh, the, the body, the, the hood, and the, the um, custom. You got a little in. carried away, didn't you, Pops? Yeah. I mean, this wasn't a daily driver. This was a show truck for me, and I wanted to, to represent. You know, we're going to bike shows. I wanted to roll up looking like we had our shit together. This is where I, I got a, a whole, whole front end kit from, lmctruck.com. And uh, so it was 7100 from Rossi, and then here's a receipt for $3,700 for from LMC Truck for all the body kit and everything. Um Here's another one for $419 for the floor mats and floor liners and the carpeting. Um, here's another one for $462 for AMB Auto for the parking brake equalizer. Um, water pump was replaced. Uh, and then this is a, another one for the clutch for $1,430. You want to type all this up so we don't have to. Yeah, yeah uh, I just, you know, this will all be included with it. This is the one for the transmission. It's uh, an NV4500 transmission. It was $2,615 for the transmission and roughly $1,400 for the clutch, pressure plate, and throw-up bearings. Here's the JBL, so so about $4,400 in the transmission and clutch and shifter. Here's the um, JBL speaker receipt. And then I've got, like I said, I've got 60 pages of receipts. These are all from Napa for all the components that were placed on the truck. Um, one from the GMC dealer, um, one from Rock Auto, um, I, this isn't here's one from Brian's auto upholstery for 275 so uh, about twenty two thousand five hundred dollars I put into the truck in the last 10 years in, in parts and performance upgrades wheels and tires brakes transmission paint job and custom front end and interior and stereo work so I think I pretty much summarized everything I think if you look at the pictures junior will have a, a bunch of high resolution pictures in there um, is there anything you'd like to add about the truck? I mean, you've been, I've had this truck since you were 12, you're 22 now, so uh, you, you've, you've been in it a million, a million times. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I learned how to drive stick in this truck. Um, freaking awesome. I actually drove this to high school a couple times way back when, and uh, definitely has a lot of curb appeal. Got a lot of, a lot of questions, thumbs up on it. But, uh, Especially from the front, the, the, view, the, the view from the front of the truck, it's pretty cool. Definitely fun to drive. With, this, with the five speed and towing with it as well, uh, this compared to our diesel van, this is a lot less scary going down the highway. And down hills. Yeah, with the dually, you don't get blown around by tractor trailers uh, when you're carrying a load. Rock she's solid. Yeah, she's rock solid. So um, definitely sad to see her go. Guys, I want to, in, in sake of full disclosure, um, I want to walk around the whole truck. Uh, we put 30,000 miles on it since we did it almost 10 years ago. <clears throat> some of it was done five years ago, some of it was done last year. I just wanna go around, there's a little bit of wax on it from the last time we waxed it, and see if I can find any imperfections. The hood looks to be pretty much perfect. I don't see a single ding in it. Um, it has a super nice shine to it. Uh, little little stain right here that might buff out. Um, coming down this side of the truck, this front fender is in perfect condition. I don't see any, any that is a new fender. There's no rust on it that I can see anywhere. Do you see any rust on that fender? On the fender. Nope. The door, uh, this is where doors are placed. There was, a, there, this got a little scrape right here. Now this is one of the things that appeared at our shop that no one claimed to do. I didn't do it. One of the boys did this. I don't know how they did it. Did it. I don't know if they hit it with a lawnmower or something, but you can see it's scraped right here. There's a little bit of touch up paint put on it. Um, and the door is not, it's got a little, it's got a little imperfection. Can the camera pick that up? Cause I don't, I, I, 
you got to hold it at an angle it's not perfectly straight um, now a good body shop could straighten that out I'm sure um, there's a couple nicks in the paint right here on the edge of the door the chrome here is pitting a little bit original chrome uh, and there is a there's the, the door the paint cracked right here there's no bondo on this door at all because this is a new door but the paint did crack there's a lot of paint on here I'm not sure why it cracked like that but it did crack was there anything else you wanted to put the, in, the inside of the door here um, you can see that it's got a tiny bit of surface rust starting right here uh, I, I probably should have had the boys sand that down and, and in fact I can if you want I can have them sand that down and um, touch that up with gloss black the uh, this is the original rocker panel right here this has a little bit of surface rust st starting on it right here this could easily be sanded down it's not rotted out it's just surface rust that started from from, from driving the truck you know we've used the truck that's a super easy fix there's no dents there is there any, any other comments about that junior no the nerf bar looks really nice um the cab corners are perfectly straight there's there's now check this out this is a 25 year old american truck here and we're in new england right come around the back side here i want you to i want you to i want you to zoom in can you can you show them the back side of the rocker because those are usually all rotted out that looks really straight there's no rust you see that and the cab corners aren't rotted at all um because it's a low mileage truck you know uh see if you can show them the frame the inner frame rails of course um the, the bed this is now this is all new metal here so there's no rust through on this metal there might be a little surface rust starting because it's been on there for a few years uh the nerfs the um leaf springs tiny bit of uh that could be touched up right there i mean the guys asked me this morning do you want me to paint that i was like no just leave it alone it's leaf springs get a little surface rust on them you know rims are beautiful the bed's perfectly straight and, and new and we've only hauled motorcycles on it and, and uh, some plywood so it's uh the, the, the rear bumper here is no damage here at all this is perfectly straight perfectly straight new paint on here uh, Dean just did this looking at the frame on this side you can see the stickers on the Rancho shocks are peeling up a little bit I don't know if that's from when they when they power washed it or something but the shocks are in excellent condition they only have about 20,000 miles um, this hasn't been painted in five years underneath here but you can see it was a PR 15 base coat clear coat so there's no rust issues underneath here check out this cab corner too because this is this is what this is what guys that are in the restorations charge a fortune for is is rust repair right is there any rust on this cab corner here i don't i don't think there should be any if there if there, there should be none and how about the inner rocker is the inner rocker perfectly straight yeah no it's perfectly straight okay and in the back of the cab is perfectly straight no damage and that's now now guys we painted this truck with the bed off of it okay so the back of the cab is base coat clear coat and it's pinstriped all the way around so there's no there are no corners were cut here this bed was put on after the cab was professionally painted and restored to the end it was done at rossi so like i said there is a little pitting on the chrome right here uh this door if you look down this door i don't see any i don't see see a single thing on this door do you no it's perfectly straight perfectly straight now there is a little chip in the paint right here that could be touched up we didn't try to touch up anything on the paint we just left it the way it is and the same thing on this door this door's been on here for five years it's getting a little bit of surface rust there but no rust through i could have my boys sand that down and gloss that for you if you want i just left it alone i didn't do anything so stainless steel nerf bars in excellent condition these will never rust that's why i bought stainless oh and guys when we painted this thing the the, the door panels were off and the cab was completely gutted except for the dash so these these um door jams are professionally painted if you if you get a quote on painting a vehicle and you ask them to paint your door jams professionally like this it's extremely expensive because it's labor intensive oh uh, the weather stripping was all replaced too i put new weather stripping in it too that was another few hundred bucks but um and new sill plates too when we did it and the new carpeting of course and the the, the this floor as i mentioned was sanded down by me and por 15 applied to the very thick coat of pr15 this there's not a speck of rust anywhere uh, on on the floor of this truck we can crawl underneath here and confirm that too from the bottom side want to take a look take a look at this guys find another 95 gmc that has a a, a floor this clean look underneath here there's no rust i don't see any rust in the floor anywhere because the the top and the bottom was thoroughly coated with por like I said, I, I used over $500 with the POR. It's like 300 bucks a gallon. I, I used I used over a gallon on the frame and the, the floor. Heavy, heavy coat. 
That's why it didn't rust. This rocker here, this is the original rocker. There's no rust on it, guys. Go ahead and grab that, Kenny, and pull on it. You can see it's, is that rock solid like new? Yeah, it's solid. It's solid, yeah, because it hasn't ever rusted, okay? So, these trucks are going up in value. If you've been looking for one and you're, you want a rust-free, low-mile, original, trans, original uh, engine, cab truck that uh, doesn't have a million miles on it, well, I, you just, most of the trucks I see out there got a quarter million miles on them, you know? It's got 86,000 miles. This fender, this is this is a replacement fender. Uh, take a look inside here. You can see the inner fender. Um, mud shield is in perfect condition. The uh, inner fender walls mint. The, the frame's really nice. The, there's no, do you see any damage on this fender anywhere? It looks perfectly straight to me. There's a slight little nick right here. I just got my dirty paws on it. But there's a, it seems like there's a little, there might, might be a little scrape right here. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Maybe that'll buff out, I don't know. Again, new Michelin tires, Eagle alloy rims, um, Rancho shocks. Take, take a look underneath it. Take, show them the front, uh, the front of the truck over here, uh, underneath. There's no, no leaking, nothing dragging, nothing out of place. The, the tie rods, everything's nice and straight on it. Leaf springs, the pitman arm. Steering column, everything's in good condition. Why? Because well, it's it's a it's a two-wheel drive truck that hasn't been abused off-road or or uh, mishandled in any way. It's just it's been used as, as transportation and, and a show truck since I've had it, towing motorcycles. So, in a 20-foot trailer. So, if you want to haul a boat or a camper or your bike or you, this this bed's big enough to put snowmobiles on the back. You can put a snowmobile on this thing. It's 11 feet long. You could easily put two snowmobiles on here, so. I probably left a bunch of stuff out. I mean, anytime you do a project frame up like this, it uh, it, it takes you longer and costs you twice as much as you're thinking it's going to. Hence the original $3,700 quote at Rossi ended up being over $7,000 when I got it out of there. And you know, the transmission, the wheels, the bed, it all adds up. We did a lot of the work ourselves in-house. Um, like I said, this, this um, there's a little crack in the grill right here. I think what happened is uh, it looks like it might have caught on something right here. I'm not really quite sure. It might need a new clip to hold it back, but it is cracked right here. So you probably wouldn't have noticed that if I didn't tell you, but I want to, like I said, full disclosure. Um, that's about it. We're selling selling my personal truck. So uh, I took as good care of it as I could, and hopefully it goes to a good home. I think I did mention I have a brand new set of headlights from LMC in the box. Uh, these don't need replacing, but if you wanted to install new headlights in it, you got a spare set of brand new custom headlights. I think those were like a couple hundred bucks. I don't remember exactly, but I've had them for a while. Anyways, I'm just rambling. If you have any questions about it, give us a call. Look at a beautiful, today is the first day of winter. And uh, this is a day when, well, the sun's gonna start getting stronger. It's the darkest day of the year. So the sun, every day from now is gonna get brighter. And it's kind of like a rebirth. And Christmas is in four days, so. And it's a pretty nice day today. So it's a beautiful view out here. Hope you, you all are enjoying the day. And sorry if I bored you with too many details, but I wanted to do full disclosure and crawl over every inch of the truck. Uh, there'll be a bunch of high resolution photos. If you wanna come look at it or have a mechanic look at it, please do. We showed them the motor thoroughly, right? If you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks for watching. God bless America. AM FM Bluetooth stereo system absolutely kicks ass. It is really, really loud. It has, it's a small cab. So in addition to the new Bluetooth head unit that Billy Willie Beard put in here, he also put a Kicker Comp RT 12 inch subwoofer in here with a 300 watt Kicker amp, okay? So it's a, it's, um, a single channel amp for the sub. The speakers in the front are separately amplified. Total of four speakers and it absolutely freaking cranks. It's way better, way better than the stereo system in our new King Ranch Dually with the top of the line stereo system. It's way better than the factory system.